Hello, I'm Wayne Visser and this is a short extract from my new book, The Age of Responsibility. Enjoy. Do you sigh when you hear the word responsibility? Perhaps responsibility is even a dirty word in your vocabulary. Perhaps you associate it with burdens and restrictions, the opposite of being carefree and without obligations. But responsibility doesn't have to be a chore or a cage. It all depends how you think about it. Responsibility is literally what it says, our ability to respond. It is a choice we make, whether to be attentive to our children's needs, whether to be mindful of the plight of those less fortunate, whether to be considerate of the impact we have on the earth and others. To be responsible is to be proactive in the world to be sensitive to the interconnections and to be willing to do something constructive as a way of giving back. Responsibility is the counterbalance to rights. If we enjoy the right to freedom, it is because we accept our responsibility not to harm or harass others. If we expect the right to fair treatment, we have a responsibility to respect the rule of law and honour the principle of reciprocity. If we believe in the right to have our basic needs met, we have the responsibility to respond when poverty denies those rights to others. Taking responsibility at home or in the workplace is an expression of our confidence in our own abilities, a chance to test our own limits, to challenge ourselves and to see how far we can go. Responsibility is the gateway to achievement. An achievement is the path to growth. Being responsible for something means that we are entrusted with realizing its potential, turning its promise into reality. We are the magicians of manifestation, ready to prove to ourselves and to others what can happen when we put our minds to it, if we focus our energies and concentrate our efforts. Being responsible for someone, another person, is an even greater privilege, for it means that we are embracing our role as caregivers, helping others to develop and flourish. This is an awesome responsibility in the truest sense, one which should be embraced with gratitude, not reluctantly accepted with trepidation. Responsibility asks no more of us than that we try our best, that we act in the highest and truest way we know, Responsibility is not a guarantee of success, but a commitment to trying. So why is responsibility seen by so many as such an onerous burden? Responsibility becomes onerous when choice is removed from the equation, when we do not realize our freedom to act differently, when we forget that we are allowed to say no. Responsibility becomes pernicious when we take on too much when we mistakenly think that more is always better, when we take on the guilt and expectations of others. Accepting too many responsibilities is in fact irresponsible, for it compromises our ability to respond. Do few things, but do them well, is the maxim of responsibility. Being responsible also does not mean doing it all ourselves. Responsibility is a form of sharing, a way of recognizing that we're all in this together. Sole responsibility is an oxymoron. Taking responsibility is a way of taking ownership of our lives, of acknowledging our own hand in the shaping of destiny. Responsibility is the antidote for victimhood. When we walk with awareness, we realize the enmeshed nature of reality. We see the subtle strands that make up the web of life. We accept that everything is linked to everything else. Responsibility is being conscious of the oneness of existence. Responsibility, if we manage it well, should never be like the curse of Sisyphus, eternally rolling a rock uphill, but rather a blessing gratefully received. For what can be more joyous than making a positive contribution in the world? or making a difference in someone else's life. Responsibility is the footprints we leave in the sand, the mark of our passage. What will your tracks leave? 
Where is the place where you can most freely and effectively respond? The choice, as always, is yours.